All right. Thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what you are looking at right now, you look up in that left-hand corner, this is PlayOn. This is a new version of PlayOn that is so nice and so new. It basically has all of your favorite functions of PlayOn and a whole lot more. And what you see right here is actually a brand new user interface. You'll see this is on my laptop. So this is the first time users for PlayOn have been able to interact with PlayOn with a nice GUI on a laptop versus just the basic settings menu. And let me show you around a little bit. For off, you can access your account information without having to go into your kind of clunky settings area. You've got a little notifications area that shows your, you know, messages or anything that might get sent out from the company. If you subscribe to any channels, you can check that here so that you could, you know, use it for recording. Any stored media, you're going to find here. Playmark, of course, is the software application that allows you to choose videos online that you want it to save. And if you have any recordings through the Play Later service, you can find them here. You can also create other folders. But, you know, that's a basic tour. Under Featured, what you have is various shows that are available from different sources on the Internet. And we'll just scroll down a little bit. For instance, let's just check out what Breaking Bad says. Keep in mind, any kind of speed and performance issues are due to everything from the strength of your Wi-Fi to the speed of your computer. We'll see what this is going to pull up. Oh, it opens it up in Netflix, see? Eh? Because Breaking Bad is something that you can get to Netflix. So what this does is, as you see, you have your featured programs, and then it links it to whatever service has those programs, so you can access it through that. All right. Now, along with this, you can also interact with your channels. It's still on Netflix right now, but if we just go back to channels, you see you've got your full channel menu. When you set this up, it just automatically sets you up with all of these different channels. And of course, what these are is portals to these various internet websites. If you're unfamiliar with PlayOn, one of the cool things about this is that you can use PlayOn to go into Hulu without having to pay for it and then watch it on TV. But in this case now, you can watch it on your computer screen. You could always do that. So maybe maybe Hulu isn't the best example. Why don't we do something that was more of an app? Like... Let's see... Let's see what we got. Do we have a TED Talks or anything? Filmon. There we go. Let's see. Filmon is something that a lot of people enjoy. And you see you click on the channel, and it breaks it up into pretty easy-to-read categories. The same sort of things you would find on the actual website. When you click on a program, you get these different options. Play, which plays it directly from your computer. Cast will look for something that is available. What it actually looks for is a Roku or a Chromecast at this point. Users using iOS devices can also use AirPlay and play on together. Under Record, what this does is it actually integrates what was recently two different services. If you remember, there was a Play On and Play Later, and Play Later was a separate DVR feature. What this new operating system does, this new GUI, is it integrates it all in. So you can just start recording from right here. I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. 
So I'm going to stop that. But what you can do with this GUI is set it up so that you can get to anything that you want to record directly from this. And it's very easy. I think that this is a really nice new change. I'm just clicked on the cast controller so you can see how that works. See, this is this is where you can control your on-screen content. So if you're casting to your Roku or casting to your Chromecast, you can go right in here. But what this is able to do is allow your computer to be a central casting place as opposed to it being restricted only to your wireless devices. Now I'm going to show you something else. This should look familiar to anybody who currently has Play On. You can still go into your little settings area. You can look for your system information. You know, you can you can you get to your channels. Just like you can from the new GUI. See that I mean yeah, so if if you're more comfortable with this, you can always just click on the little gear and interact with it the way that you always did. Play on the new play on will still support plugins. I got this directly from play on. I haven't played with that yet. It has the play on browser extension still. You can connect up with your modem and you still can connect up with all of your social stuff though. I don't know. That's not me. I, I, don't, I don't care whether anybody knows what, sh <laughs> what shows I'm watching and you know, you never know. You might not want anybody to know, right? But this is the new setup. See, look, see, it has the recordings from film on right there under recordings now. But I like this a lot. I see a ton of possibilities with this because the way I look at it is. If you have play on and you want to use a you know like a HTPC setup, you can now use play on for that. You don't have to go through Kodi or something like that to get to play on on a computer. And that's nice. You can still connect to Kodi, and that's not a problem. But I think it's very nice to have something that you, you know, something kind of tactile on a laptop or on a desktop, whatever you're using, in order to access all of this information. So that's the play on new GUI. This is a beta right now. It hasn't rolled out to everybody. There are a couple of us lucky few that have had a chance to take a look. And I'm just really excited that I could share this with you today. If you thought this was cool, if you think it's fun and interesting, please subscribe to our channel. Check us out at thestreamingadvisor.com for a full written review in this week on this product. And spread the word to your friends. Subscribe on the website. You'll get emails and information and giveaways. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.